Hi again, welcome to another Shed Chat. Um, it's a messy Shed Chat, but that seems to be the way it's been lately with this shed. But anyway, um, the ling to when that's done, I will be able to clear some stuff out of here, which is coming along okay, but it's snowing at the moment, so I'll try and show you a bit of that soon. Um, uh, so yeah, um, I thought I'd um, do a shed chat and but these shed chats will be going over to the other channels sh soon and that will be when I've done the link to the stuff's gone out of here and I work on a particular um item in here um and then I'll sort of do it um like how I've repaired it or whatever so yeah they'll be moving over then but at the moment I've just got to sort of tie some things up in here so I'll leave it on this channel otherwise it won't sort of flow flow right from what I've told you before. Um, I could show you a bit of this. Um, this um, pressure washer frame has been painted up. Um, it's a few little, if you can see there, a few little um, uh, bits of corrosion in there. But um, yeah, all the rust out and it's rust treated and everything. So um, could it, if I'd been really bothered, I could have filled it in and that. But I wasn't bothered. Um, it looks neat and tidy. It's got a nice coat of the um, Fordson Empire Blue on it. Same as my tractor. Um, so that would be nice and, ke and should keep okay. So um, that would be one of the first things probably I should be putting back together when the bit's done, um, the lean to's done. There's the engine and everything. Still got a few little bits for, uh, for it, but I did give it. I did give it a test run and it does work okay. So uh, just be a few bits and pieces to finish off. Probably cost me a bit more than I anticipated it would, but that's how things go. He'll be done. I'll have a good pressure washer. Um, what else has been going on in here? I've just got an old mower there, which I'm going to just break for spares. Um, I bought it, and there was um, it was supposed to be complete, and there was parts missing. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna because um, break it for spares because the the gearbox is is leaking. So I'm not going to pursue it. Um, it. It doesn't look in bad nick to be honest. But I've already um, the grass bag is gone anyway. I've got rid of that and sort of got most of my money back. So. Um, it wasn't particularly a good buy. I had to travel a little way to get it, so that wasn't a great buy. But um, you know, you got to try. Um, I've come coming down with a well, uh, yesterday coming down with another cold, my second cold this year, which is um, is annoying. And um, I've um, boosted up on vitamin C and some uh, flu relief tablets, and that's sort of worked keeping it at bay a little bit. So hopefully, it won't be too bad. Um, like I said, it's snowing, and um, um, so for whether I'm going to go to work tomorrow with a cold, uh, I doubt it. But we shall see what it turns out like. And even if it, the snow goes, it's going to actually can show you out of here. It's going to be pretty muddy. So a few bits and pieces out there. You can see an old Mountfield mower there. That's another one to break for spares. And when I've done the lean to bit, it'll just be a good old tidy up round round everywhere then. Um, so, let's shut the door a minute. Um, yeah, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the roof is actually done on the shed. You'll probably be able to just see that on the lean to video when I show you that. And it is it's damp on the it's damp on the roof still, but it is drying out slowly. The weather's just been so damp and everything. But ah, you can actually see there. You can see them light patches. It's starting to actually dry out a little bit now. So I've solved that problem. Um, these window bits here, at the moment, they've, well, they've all. Uh, I the story was I bought my brother built this shed where he lived once, and when he moved, I bought the shed off of him, and he never got around to making the windows, and I've never gotten around to making the windows either. So um, what happened? We've got um, indoor cats, and we were having some work done in the house, so the cats couldn't be in there. So I. Um, caused up the windows and the cats lived in here for the week or so the work was being done or a couple of weeks I think I think it must have been um, and I had plastic over the over the um, over the windows and then I had like a bit of plyboard over it well that plyboard's still there but I've had to replace this plastic but this is like the membrane you put under under concrete um, cement and concrete so that's lasted quite well but now the lean-to is going to be there I may just um, 
cut the short bits of clad in and clad, just clad it in because I'm not going to be having a window in the shed. It's, it can't happen now because that side is against a fence, that side's against a fence, and that side's covered in with the, the lean to. So um, uh, I don't really, I don't really want a window anyway. Just an easier access if someone's going to try and break in or anything. Um, but apart from that, not a great deal happen really. I've got to just. I might come in here late and have a bit of a sort out to sort of tidy the bench up a little bit and so that's clear. I can make a start on clearance so I'm ready to move, move some stuff into the lean-to next door. Um, but it can't really be anything too valuable at the moment because the door isn't going to be done. There's some scaffolding up there. My brother's scaffolding, he wants that back so that'd be out of the way. So yeah, um, not much has happened in here uh, really. Uh, trying to think there's a wheels for the pressure washer down there I shall probably paint them up there a little bit a little bit dirty and now she'll paint and there's some old paint has been dropped on the tire from when the person I bought it from tried to give it a quick paint up to make it look better and it did look better on the picture when I actually bought it it didn't but yeah I'm quite pleased that that's come up it's come up okay it's just direct sort of gloss paint has gone on there um, you know no lacquer or nothing just direct uh, direct um, sort of agricultural gloss paint um, so that should be durable and should last a fair while um, yeah I'm quite pleased with that, that should do, should do the job fine yeah so what my aim is hopefully if the weather if the weather um, goes with me which it isn't it's been a real depression year to be, with weather at the moment um, it's neither one thing or the other we did get one decent day on uh, Friday it's, I started off icy but midday was ok I did some work I only did a few regulars last week but you have to do something to um, bring some pennies in but um, this week yeah it should be a full week quite a full wheel, week but whether it's going to be or not it will depend on how I feel and how um, how the weather is I'm not going to make myself more ill just trying to struggle along and get things done they can wait but um yeah so i'm good i'm really itching which is annoying me this weekend because the weather's been awful this weekend it's really itching to get this lean to done so i can move some stuff out here and i'll gradually see um space um more space in here so basically i want like the workmate in the middle of the shed put a lawnmower on it or whatever i decide to be doing and i'll have all the space around it to work and have a heater on and it'll be much more comfortable in here at the moment i'm coming home chucking stuff in here like you see all my fence stuff and everything there that all needs sorting out when i do a fence job now i don't know what i've got and what i haven't but anyway um I, this video might be seeming a bit boring so i'll sort of leave it now and um I'll um, show you when off. Well, the next video from the shed will be when I've sort of cleared it out a bit and moved some into the to the lean to, which hopefully, if, like I said, if the weather's okay, could be within the in within the next week. So we we'll just have to see how it goes. So thanks for watching. I'll be along with another video again soon.